I said, it's over. <laughs> I lost my money. I mean Tonight, only on six, a South Florida single mother spent her life savings to put down a deposit for a condo, but the money ended up in the wrong hands. Now she has to move out in just hours. And what happened to her is a warning to anyone in the market to buy. Here's NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard. Patricia Verlino was starting to settle in to her new condo in Davie with her daughters. Hey, girls. Finally, a place they could call their own. The down payment to close, more than $60,000, was wired from her bank. What was that to you? Everything. A lot of sacrifice, a lot of time without the girls because I, I get out of one job and go to the other one. I work on the weekends. She closed on the home with the title company earlier this month. But before she could open all of her boxes, her realtor called. She say, call your bank because the title company is still not receiving the wire. Bank records show the down payment was sent. So Patricia shared with her realtor and title company the instructions she received to wire the money. Somebody from the title company say, this is not our account. And that's what I was like, oh my God, this is a problem. It's the number one uh, largest real estate scam right now in the country is wire fraud. Kevin Thatcher, who owns a title company in Broward, didn't have anything to do with this transaction, but works hard to make sure others know about this scam. The saddest thing to see someone lose their entire life savings. And this is the one that you actually sent the funds. Yep. Patricia showed us the email she received with the instructions. They had her title company's name and information. The sender appeared to be a company employee, a woman whose name is also listed in her closing documents. The email was hacked. They monitor the email until they see a business transaction going down. And then they pose themselves, which is called spoofing. They spoof themselves to be the title agent, asking her to wire money. The company later confirmed the employee's name was misspelled and she was not working there at the time. Patricia contacted law enforcement, including Davy police, to see if they could find out who took her money. Now, they're investigating. Her title company, Brokers Title and Escrow, told us their email account was not compromised. They declined an on-camera interview, but said they are on Patricia's side and have made themselves available to fully cooperate with everyone handling this investigation. They went on to say they haven't placed a claim with their insurance because they have not been determined to be responsible for this incident. No, the way more. Emotional in Spanish. Patricia's heartbreak can be seen in any language. She and her daughters have to leave the home Friday. I just say maybe we need to start all over, but I'm gonna give you whatever happened after this and the girls is gonna stay. I'm gonna give you a nice place again. Patricia's realtor told us she provided Patricia the proper wire instructions when the contract was signed in April and confirmed the information was received. Thatcher says there are things you can do to prevent this from happening. Stay in close contact with the title company, confirming items with a phone call. Also, only respond to communications that require authentication with security codes. Thatcher says that title companies should warn buyers not to send funds electronically without these confirmations. Patricia's title company told us they always send the warnings. And banks also ask questions before wire transfers go through. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News.